Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today, Strong Foundation, Strong Ads, Get Ready for Advertising. My name is Winnie, and I am an advertising specialist here on Amazon Ads. I want to thank you all so much for coming in today. So hopefully you'll be able to learn how to get your product detail page strong and be ready for advertising. All right, so uh, before we get started with our presentation today, I would like to go through some housekeeping items that's gonna help you to prepare for our webinar today. In the control panel, go to webinar, you can find the Q&A section. In the Q&A section, you can submit your questions. Uh, me and my other colleagues will be there online to answer any questions you have related to our topic today or any questions about sponsor ads. Also, in the handout section, you can find the slides of our presentation today, the Amazon Code of Conduct, and the webinar with your handout that covers our entire program. So there you'll be able to find the links for you to register, the titles of each event, and the descriptions of each event, as well the levels. So it's a great way for you to see all the events that we host here, so you can keep learning with us after attending this webinar today. Also, in the end of our webinar, or any moment you need to leave, a survey will pop up. That's your opportunity to let us know what you think about our presentation today. Just provide any feedback you may have. Remember that your feedback is extremely important for us, so please don't leave our webinar today without answering our survey. That will take you 30 seconds for you to do that. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you as well to let us know which topics you'd like us to cover in the future. All right, so one more time for all of you that are just joining us today. My name is Winnie. I am an advertising specialist here on Amazon Ads. If you have any questions during our webinar today, please use the Q&A box. Today in the presentation, uh, I'm gonna have my colleague, Bruna, who is online. She's gonna be going over the slides. And then in the last 10, 15 minutes, I'll be coming back again and answer the most frequently asked questions that we received today in our presentation. So we're both gonna have our camera off so you can have the full screen. And uh, if you have any questions, just use the Q&A. If you experience any technical issues, our recommendation is for you to refresh your page. If that doesn't help you to get back to the presentation, please log out and then log in back again. All right, so let's get started. All right, so to start off, I wanted to quickly go through our agenda today. So as I mentioned previously, if you're new to advertising or if you've just started, um, this is the right webinar for you. And that's because we're going to be looking at elements that help shape your advertising experience and your advertising success on Amazon. And it's very important that you have a good understanding of how different retail and eligibility factors tie into advertising. So we will help you strengthen your knowledge in these areas. And we're also gonna provide insights that can help make your advertising more effective from the start. So with that, let's get right into our topic today. So just like the title says, the purpose of this webinar is to help set a strong foundation for your ad campaigns. And that foundation includes a couple of things. So understanding retail topics, meeting eligibility requirements, and also making sure that the products that you choose to advertise have engaging detailed pages. And today we'll be covering Amazon retail aspects related to sponsored ads. Also, if you have other retail questions that are not related to advertising, then we recommend that you check out Seller Central and Vendor Central help pages, and you'll, you're able to um, get guidance 
through Seller Central and Vendor Central, and you'll also see some tips there. Also, if you have an account manager, we also recommend that you reach out to them for more specific support. So first of all, let's talk about some of the reasons why you might want to advertise on Amazon before we go into detail about how you can get ready to do so. So imagine your customer stepping into an offline retail shop where your products are surrounded by similar products of various prices. What could help your customer discover your products more easily? In retail, there are certain aisles, placements, and pop-ups that make it easier for customers to find your products. So let me show you a few examples of the three self-service ad solutions, which we call sponsored ads, and their placements within the shopping results on Amazon. Please note that these are just some of the ad placements that you may get with sponsored ads, and products and features may not be available in all marketplaces. So if some features don't show up for you, it's, it might be because it is not available in your marketplace at this time. So let's start with sponsored products. So first of all, where you see products in the middle with a label sponsored, these are examples of our sponsored product ads. And with sponsored products, you can promote individual product listings on Amazon in just a few minutes. And it is a great solution for you to use as you advertise on Amazon for the first time. Second is sponsored brands. So as you look at the top, you see a brand logo and three products of the same brand. That's an example of a sponsored brands ad. And with sponsored brands, you can really help drive discovery of your brand among customers shopping for products like yours. Um, and you can also use creative formats that help you tell your best brand story and help portray your image. You can do that with three different ad formats that are available for sponsored brands. And those are um, Source Spotlight, video and product collection. And the one that you see on the screen is an example of product collection. And with that in mind, you might see a six to 45 second video being autoplayed within the shopping results. And that is an example of a sponsored brand's video ad format. And lastly, we have sponsored display. And that's on the left side here of the screen. And with sponsored display ads, um, it is a self-service it is a self-service display ad that helps you grow your business and brand on Amazon by engaging customers throughout their purchasing journey, both on Amazon but also off of Amazon. And I also want to very briefly introduce our free solution. And these solutions can really help you build your brand and drive product discovery. And it's important that your brand and your products be customer ready when you use these. So these solutions are free and available for sellers enrolled in Amazon brand registry, as well as vendors and agencies. So stores will allow you to showcase your brand and products in a multi-page immersive shopping experience on Amazon and with stores, you're able to create and customize a dedicated brand destination on Amazon with a self-service store that is available at no additional cost to you. And then you'll also see post beta. And post beta is a way to help drive brand and product discovery, as well as consideration with curated lifestyle imagery in a shoppable feed on Amazon. And post delivers your brand story to relevant shoppers as they browse your categories on Amazon. So shoppers can click through posts to explore your brand's feed and discover product pages directly from your feed. Click through from your brand's feed to your product pages as well. And posts appear on the Amazon mobile shopping app and on mobile web. And then we have Amazon Live which is the one on the right-hand side. 
Um, and Amazon Live offers you the, abil the ability to engage with shoppers in real time and allows you to drive consideration through interactive and also shoppable live streams. And Amazon Live is really designed to inspire and also educate and entertain customers in a format that allows real-time brand interaction. And Amazon Live helps give customers confidence to consider new brands and make purchase decisions. And last but not least, we have Brand Follow. And with Brand Follow, customers can choose to follow brands that they love to help tailor their shopping experience. And your followers may see more of your content on Amazon if they follow your brand, which would then give you an opportunity to really help increase engagement and help these shoppers discover your product and your whole portfolio as well. So now that you have a little bit of background on our solutions, let's switch gears and focus on the steps that you can take to get yourself ready to use sponsored ads. We'll start with some key retail information that is very important for you to know. So first, we're gonna go through who sells on Amazon and where can they go to manage their retail accounts. So we have several types of selling partners on Amazon, which include sellers, vendors, KDP authors, agencies, and merch designers. So a seller can be someone that's a reseller, so someone who doesn't own a brand, or someone who's enrolled in Amazon brand registry. And a vendor can be a distributor or someone who's enrolled in Amazon brand registry. Sellers own their stock and prices and they manage their catalog through Seller Central, while vendors will sell their stock to Amazon, who then ultimately manages it, and vendors use Vendor Central. KDP authors use Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing to publish their books and manage their inventory through a KDP account. In some cases, selling partners may have an Advantage Central account. An Advantage is a program that lets authors, musicians, filmmakers, publishers, studios, and also other content providers to list and sell their products on Amazon. Agencies can represent all types of selling partners, so sellers, vendors, authors, and publishers, and the account type that they use will be based on the type of selling partner that they represent. I also wanted to quickly note that sometimes selling partners have questions about what to do or where to go if they need help updating a product in their catalog, for example. If that's the case, you can open a case in Seller Central or in Vendor Central for assistance. And finally, the last one that we have here is merch designers. And merch designers are a particular type of selling partner who print on-demand products that are listed via merch by Amazon. So now let's review the basic requirements for participating in sponsored ads. So first of all, you must have an active account. So you must be a professional seller, vendor, advantage, KDP author, or merch by Amazon. And you also must have a valid payment method for advertising fees on file. As you accumulate clicks on your ads, your advertising fees can either be deducted from your seller account balance or they can be charged to your credit card if you're a seller. The default payment method is to deduct from payment. But if you want to change that, you can go to Seller Central and then you can navigate to settings, click on account info, and then you'll go to payment information, and then you'll click charge methods for advertising, and there you'll be able to change your payment method. If you're a vendor, you'll have the credit card option available and deduct from payment will be available only if you meet a set financial threshold. And if you do, it will automatically appear to you. I do wanna note that for some spon for sponsored ads, product listings have to be new and fall into one or more of the available categories, and they must also meet the acceptance policies. For example, adult products, also used products, as well as refurbished products are not eligible for advertising at this time. And for a full list of what is eligible, um, 
you can check out the, um, the acceptance policies and learn more there. Now for some ad types, namely sponsored products or sponsored display, you have to be featured offer eligible. So you can create campaigns with ads that are not winning the featured offer. They are only eligible to display when they are winning the featured offer. Also, one thing that I wanted to note is that to use sponsored brands and sponsored display, the solutions that we looked at earlier, you must be either a vendor or a seller enrolled in Amazon brand registry. Finally, to advertise, please note that you also need to be able to ship to the country that you're advertising in. So the requirements we just reviewed might seem like a lot. So to help you, we're gonna look at seven actions that you can take to help make sure that you meet them and that you are in good shape to start advertising. So the first action is to check your eligibility. So for each self-service ad solution, we do have slightly different eligibility criteria. So for example, sponsored products are available for professional sellers, vendors, book vendors, Kindle Direct Publishing authors, Merch by Amazon, and also to agencies. Sponsored brands are available for professional sellers who are enrolled in Amazon brand registry, as well as vendors, book vendors, Merch by Amazon, and also agencies. And then sponsored display is available for professional sellers enrolled in Amazon brand registry, vendors, and agencies with clients who sell their products on Amazon. And then this will take me to my second tip, which is enrolling in Amazon brand registry. So enrolling in Amazon brand registry will allow you to use a suite of tools that are designed to help you build and protect your brand and also to create a better experience for customers. So I wanna take a look at what Amazon brand registry is and why it is important. So brand registry is Amazon's global authoritative service for information about every brand in the world. And it contains brand names, brand profile data, such as logos and also trademarks and accounts that have roles like administrator, rights owner or registered agent. So here's a detailed look at the benefits associated with Amazon brand registry. And remember that we will be providing this webinar as a PDF, so you can download it on the handout section and then you can refer back to these slides um, and understand exactly what the benefits of Amazon brand registry are. So first, Amazon brand registry allows for accurate brand representation. It allows for proactive brand protections. And you're also able to get 24 seven support with a global team that is available to answer your questions. And lastly, you can make use of powerful search tools and report tools that really can simplify the process of finding cases of potential infringement. And you're also able to get access to a post content sponsored brands, stores, sponsored display, brand analytics, and Vine. So now let's talk about how you enroll in Amazon brand registry and we'll do this step by step. So how do you know if you're even eligible for brand registry? So your brand has to have an active registered trademark in each country where you want to enroll, or you must have a pending trademark application that you can file through Amazon IP Accelerator. The trademark for your brand must be in the format of a text-based mark, which is often referred to as a word mark, or an image-based mark with words, letters, or numbers, which is often also referred to as a design mark. And brand registry applications have to be submitted by trademark owners. And if you meet the eligibility requirement, you can sign in using your Seller Central or Vendor Central credentials. Then to enroll your brand, you will need the following. Your brand name that has an active registered trademark. The active registered trademark for your brand must appear on your products or on your packaging. And then the trademark registration number provided by the Intellectual Property Office. And I do wanna note that we do not accept application numbers. 
You'll also need a list of product categories. So for example, um, apparel, sporting goods, electronics, um, and these categories are the ones in which your brand should be listed. And then you'll need a list of countries where your brand's products are manufactured and distributed. After you submit this information, Amazon will verify that you are the rights owner of the trademark and will reach out to a contact that meets our requirements. This person will receive a verification code, and then you'll need to send this code back to Amazon to then complete the enrollment process. Once you're verified, you will then have full access to Amazon brand registry. And now for the sellers that we have here today, I want to call out that in some rare cases, although you may be successfully registered, you may face issues getting access to the tools and solutions that are available to brand registered sellers, like a content, stores, and others. So I want to take the opportunity to show a quick tip on how to request access to those in case you don't have access. So you just need to request what is called brand representative status. And the system just needs to clarify that you are qualified to get access to the solutions since you are successfully registered in Amazon Brand Registry. And the first step to do that is to log into Amazon Brand Registry, and then you'll select Brand Registry Support under Need Help. So you can see the support being highlighted and then the Need Help section. Then you'll go to technical issue, and then you'll fill out the form. In the describe your issue portion, you can request access to the tools and solutions that you don't have access to, or simply ask for brand representative status. So moving on, the next step is to create your advertising account and to make sure that you set it up properly. So creating an account is free of charge, so we recommend creating one even if you just want to get used to the features and understand the ad solutions that you can use and kind of navigate through it. There are two ways that you can create an advertising account. The first one is to use the link on the slide, and you can go to advertising.amazon.com. Then you'll see a bright orange button on the top right, and you can click register. And the other way to do this is via Seller Central, Vendor Central, Kindle Direct Publishing, or Merge Portal accounts, depending on how you're selling. The next way to make sure that you can launch your first campaign is to set up your payment method, which means registering and, insert it and including your billing information. So we'll go over the main steps to do that now, but don't worry about taking notes because We'll be sharing a more comprehensive guide after the session, and you'll be able to download this PDF once again to review it later. So first, sign into your advertising account or navigate to the advertising console from your respective selling portal. And then you can expand the navigation bar at the top left corner. And then from there, you can select billing and payment to access the payment settings page. And then you can go ahead and insert your payment method and um, register your billing information. From there, as I mentioned, you'll select your desired payment method. So once again, you can deduct advertising fees from your account balance, or you can pay by credit or debit card. And then for payment by credit and debit card, you will be asked to provide your card details and VAT registration number. And I do want to note that VAT number is not applicable in some marketplaces. So if you see any differences, that might be why. But if, if you do have if you have the option to deduct advertising fees from your balance, you're going to be asked to provide your vendor code, ID or VAT registration number, and billing information. Make sure that you have all of your billing information ready to make the process very easy and quick. And you will also need to insert details for the person who will receive the invoices via email. And finally, once you've put in that information, um, you can save it. Once you complete these steps, then you are all set to start advertising. So now the next step, 
as you prepare to advertise is to consider the featured offer and take some actions to help your product display the featured offer. So I, this is a very uh, common question that we get. What exactly is the featured offer and why is it important? The featured offer is an important retail element and it's extremely important to advertising because in order to advertise, your product must be eligible to be the featured offer. And the featured offer is the section of the product detail page where customers can add items to their cart or where they can click buy now. And when multiple sellers offer the same product, Amazon will combine the offers into a single product detail page so that we can present customers with the best experience possible. So we recommend that you choose products that regularly display the featured offer to help maximize your visibility and sales. When you sell on Amazon, you may be eligible to display the featured offer and becoming eligible to display the featured offer does not guarantee that you will display it, but I did wanna give some guidance that can help you display the featured offer. So first is to keep your products reasonably priced. And then I would make sure that you review your inventory and make sure that your products are um, in stock. I would offer multiple shipping options and if you can offer free shipping as well. And then make sure that you offer great customer service, which can help generate positive ratings and positive reviews. And related to that previous step, as I mentioned, when you're getting ready to advertise, you'll make sure that you want to, you'll make sure to keep an eye on the stock. So keeping your products in stock is a part of what makes you eligible to display the featured offer, and that's why it's so important. And therefore, it's kind of part, it's part of what makes you, you eligible for advertising. So our tip is to have a plan for products that tend to sell out quickly. And I would make sure that you keep in mind that advertising can increase the traffic to your product detail pages, which can then result in more sales, which can then result in you running out of stock more quickly than you, faster than usual. You can monitor your inventory under Manage Inventory in Seller Central or also within the inventory dashboard in Vendor Central. And since you need to be eligible to ship to the country that you're advertising in, I also want to show you how you can expand, how you can expand, excuse me, your selling presence easily. Um, but I also want to note that we do have a webinar where we teach you in detail how to advertise in more marketplaces. So I do recommend that you join um, the out of country um, webinar um, and you'll be able to learn how to expand to new marketplaces. Um, so I do recommend that you join that webinar as well to learn about this in more detail. So let's quickly review some steps. So first you'll need to ensure that you're set up to sell in specific regions. If you're not already, you will log into Seller Central with your current account. And then your inventory, you can then navigate to the Sell Globally page. Then you'll go ahead and you can select the region or location that you want to sell in. So let's say you want to sell in Europe to create a new selling account. And then Amazon will pre-populate registration fields based on the information that you previously entered. And then you can complete your registration and your accounts will be automatically linked. You can then learn more with the Build International Listings tool, which makes it easier to create listings across the region using your inventory. And you can also monitor sales, orders, and buyers' messages from a single Sell Globally page. And now if you're a vendor, you will need to connect with a vendor manager or vendor support account manager to initiate the process and they will provide you with an invitation for the new marketplace. As a quick note, if you would like to expand to multiple marketplaces at once, you will be sent separate invitations for each marketplace that you want to expand to. Then there are two different scenarios and I'm gonna quickly go through each of them here. So the first is that you have an assigned vendor manager or vendor support account manager. And if that is the case for you, then you can go ahead and contact them directly to start this process. But if you don't have an assigned vendor manager or vendor support account manager, 
you can go to Vendor Central and get in touch with the Amazon support team to open a case. And here's how you'll do that. So you can go to support, then you can click on contact Amazon support, go to settings and account management, go to account settings, and then you'll see an option to request a call or send an email. And once a vendor manager gets in touch, you can then request uh, you can then request opening your selling accounts to new marketplaces. So we've, re we've reviewed our ad types, the advertising eligibility requirements that you have to keep in mind, and also key retail steps to help get your account ready for advertising. And so now I wanted to talk about how you can help get your product set. So during this part of the webinar, we will be looking at product detail pages through the lens of advertising and how with the right attention, they can help enhance your performance by providing a great experience for shoppers. The strategies that we'll show you here today are ones that you can actually use at any point in your advertising. And as you're preparing to start and also later as you're optimizing your campaigns, I do wanna note that all of these strategies are also free to use. So I wanted to quickly start with a quote from David, um, an Amazon advertiser, that really captures the role that the product deal page plays in engaging customers and telling the right story about your product and about your brand. So David said, when you're creating a product listing, you're creating a brand story, a product story. Because on Amazon, people shop with their eyes first. They look at pictures, they look at your title, and they see if this is what they want to consider purchasing. On the detail page, this is the time for sellers to really let the customers know why they should purchase their product and communicate a good story to customers. So now this probably looks a little familiar to you, but I wanna start by looking at the components of a product detail page from an advertising perspective. So the first three are related to the eligibility criteria that we just talked about, while the others are related to product detail page setup. So first, as I mentioned before, is that in order to or advertise, your product has to be eligible to be the featured offer. And once again, um, a key factor in displaying the featured offer is price. So for many shoppers, price is a very important is very important and plays an important role in their purchase decisions. So in addition to your product title, your images, and other information, sponsored products ads include the price of your item as well. So shoppers may be more motivated to click on your ad and ultimately make a purchase if you offer great prices for your products. And then your products need to be in stock in order to be the featured offer and to be eligible for advertising. You will also want to make sure that you have a strong title for your product. And we recommend that you use a title with approximately 60 characters. And we will show you an example of a good title soon. Then customer reviews and star ratings can really be valuable for Amazon shoppers because they help build credibility and trust with your brand's products. And your advertised products should have a rating of 3.5 stars or more and at least five customer reviews. And then images are another key part of your detail page. So you wanna make sure that you display four or more high resolution images that are engaging and zoomable. And then you'll make sure you include multiple bullet points which describe your product's benefits and the key features of your product and any other important element that you think is worth highlighting and important for, the, for shoppers to know. Then you'll also want to have a description of your product. And this is where you can go into a lot more detail about what exactly sets your product apart and why shoppers should consider purchasing it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more detail on each of these eight elements. And I'll show you examples, starting with the product title. So you should think of your title as a way to make a first impression with shoppers because it appears in your sponsored ads created. An informative and also easy to read title will allow shoppers to quickly know key facts about your product 
and they can also help encourage them to click on your ads and check out your products. We recommend making titles about 60 characters long, as I said, um, since being concise helps ensure that your title won't be truncated in your ad creative, which can help give customers a more accurate view of what your product is. So what exactly should you include in your title? So I can, you should consider including brand, also product line, materials or key features of your product, product type, color, size, and also packaging and quantity. I also wanna provide some additional background about product titles. So in Vendor Central or Seller Central, when you're uploading your catalog, titles are automatically generated from the dynamic template using a standardized structure, which will vary depending on the category. Completing the dynamic template with as much information as you can and keeping in mind the guidance that we're talking about here is important to help generate a strong and coherent title. So here's an example of how this might come to life. And let's say a fictitious brand called Kitchen Smart sells an espresso machine and they create a product title like this. So Kitchen Smart, Smart Espresso, Silver Espresso Machine. So here they capture their brand name, also the product line, the material, and they also include the product type and size. And here you'll be able to see how in a product title and where a product title will show up in a product detail page. So now imagine that shoppers have clicked on your ad and have come to your detail page. One way to help give them the information that they need to make a purchase decision is by including three or more bullet points that give them a clear overview of your product's key features, such as contents, also uses, dimensions, operational considerations, age rating, skill level, and country of origin are all great ones to consider. And I did want to share some tips, uh, which are begin with a capital letter. Make sure to format bullet points as a sentence fragment, so don't use end punctuation. Reiterate important information about the title and description where applicable, and avoid including promotional or pricing information. And also a general piece of advice is to be concise and try to keep your bullet points under a thousand characters in total. So for all bullets, not per bullet. And this can really help improve the readability of your bullets. So let's look again at Kitchen Smart and how they might write bullet points for their espresso machine. So here we see fully automatic espresso machine, which describes the contents. And then we can see that they describe that it grinds beans, brews specialty drinks, and prepares milk froth which highlights the uses. And then we can see that they include operational considerations, country of origin, and also the dimensions of their product. And this is where you can see uh, the bullet points in the product detail page and how they look in the product detail page. And with your product description, you can really go beyond the simple features included in your bullet points and you can capture your product's benefits, a value proposition in detail, and also highlight its uses in more detail. As a best, as a best practice, you should always write descriptions for your products. And I would treat description like it's a short narrative. So use complete sentences, check your spelling and your grammar, and make sure that you're concise but informative, and apply your brand's unique voice. Accurate, engaging copy can help turn your ad and your ad clicks into purchases. So when writing a description for its espresso machine, Kitchensmart takes the opportunity to show shoppers what makes their product special and what makes their brand interesting. So this is an example of a product description. And here we can see that Kitchen Smarts you said, get a cafe style brew right at home in minutes. Combining a modern design with classic Italian craft, 
The Smart Espresso espresso machine is simple to use, easy to clean, and delivers rich, flavorful espresso drinks whenever you want them. Morning, afternoon, evening, or all three. The unique milk system mixes milk and air in the built-in frothing chamber, adding an irresistible layer of foam to your cappuccino or latte. Sleek silver construction complements any kitchen imported. So to help customers find your products when they are shopping on Amazon, it's important to add words they might use when searching for what they want to buy. Search terms should focus on elements that are most relevant to your product. So aim to include generic words that can enhance the discoverability of your product, such as key features, materials, size, use, and more, and make sure that you add those to your product detail page or to your product title. You can also add search terms within, you can add search terms within Manage Inventory on the Inventory tab. And once you launch a sponsored product or a sponsored brand's campaign, you can also use your search term report, which is available for both solutions, to find terms that generate results for you, such as impressions, clicks, and sales. And to get insights from your, from your search term report, you can download the report, and then you'll identify the best performing terms considering the metrics I just mentioned. So you can see which ones are generating the most impressions, clicks, and sales. Then if those terms match with your product's characteristics, use them to strengthen your product detail page from the bullet points to the description to A plus content if you do have access to A plus content. Now on the topic of A plus content, how do you take these steps even further and help make your product even more engaging for shoppers? So you can use A plus content on your detail pages. And this is available to vendors and sellers who are enrolled in Amazon brand registry. And it lets you describe your product features with enhanced images, text placements, and also stories. A plus content appears under from the manufacturer under the, on the detail page. And you can build and manage your content easily by dragging and dropping modules to create custom layouts. And modules and layouts include rich text editor for custom formatting, images of several sizes, product comparison charts, and also bulleted feature and text spec lists. In Seller Central, you can start by going to the Advertising tab and clicking on A Plus Content Manager. In Vendor Central, you can go to Merchandising and then select A Plus Detail Pages. And when choosing the products that you want to create A Plus content for, there are a couple things that you can consider. So I would make sure that you pick products with a high price point, since A Plus content may help you make incremental sales. If you're launching a new product, it can help you introduce the product in a more visual, compelling way to help accelerate sales. And for products that are already generating traffic, maybe through promotions or ads, A plus content can help you ensure that shoppers that are coming to your page are seeing the best possible page, which can also result in additional sales. And lastly, if you have products with high returns or poor reviews due to confusion among your customers, A plus content may help by giving you a chance to provide more detailed information about your product. And here are a couple tips that you can follow when you're using A plus content. So first, I would make sure that you focus on what makes your brand unique and create your content with your brand message in mind. Include your logo, choose visuals that share a consistent color scheme, and also use images, including lifestyle imagery and high resolution product shots that really help present your product in the best light to shoppers. As I mentioned a few moments ago, A plus content can really help you better educate shoppers about your product. So really take the opportunity to answer known questions about it or also to address friction points, like how it works and all of its uses. The more information that you can provide about your product, the more likely shoppers may be to purchase it and also to be happy with their purchase. A plus content also needs to be submitted for review before it can be published on your detail page. So if your content isn't approved, you'll get an email explaining why it wasn't approved, 
and then you can revise your content and then resubmit it. But to help your content get approved the first time, make sure that you check your spelling and your grammar and make sure that there aren't any typos before you submit it. Also, one of the main reasons that content is rejected is because of unverified claims. And you might be wondering, what is an unverified claim? And an example of that would be if Kitchen Smart, for example, called their espresso machine the best espresso machine in the world. And also quotes are often another reason for rejection. So you can include up to four quotes from publications, from public figures, celebrities, and brand named ind individuals. But you have to accompany your quote with a date and verified publicly recognized source. And quotes that won't be accepted are ones from individuals, customers, or other private figures. You also are not able to mention awards that you received more that are more than two years old. And finally, let's talk a little bit more about ratings and reviews. So when it comes to buying a product, sometimes the most important factor for shoppers is actually the opinion of other shoppers. And that's why we recommend advertising products that have five or more customer reviews, have a rating of 3.5 stars or more. You're investing in ads to help drive traffic to your products and encourage sales, and you can help improve your opportunities by choosing well-reviewed and well-rated products from your catalog. But you might be wondering what to do if you're new to selling on Amazon, or if you want to advertise a product that you just launched, um, we have something called Amazon Find that can help you gain customer feedback, reviews, and ratings. And it is available to vendors and sellers enrolled in Amazon brand registry. And Amazon Vine invites the most trusted reviewers on Amazon to post opinions about new and pre-released items to help their fellow customers make informed purchase decisions. The Vine program is available in the US, in the UK, Canada, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and also in Japan. So as a recap, I wanted to quickly go through the best practices for setting up your product detail pages, along with some insights that can help you understand how taking these actions with the detail pages for your advertised products can impact your impressions, your click and your sales. So first, make sure um, that you that your product title is as best as it can be. Make sure to improve your bullet points, to include great product images, to create a great and informative product description, to include search keywords on your detail page, and to use A plus content if it's available to you. Once again, you will be able to download this presentation um, and review all of these key insights later on. And as a last, um, as a last practice here, I just quickly wanted to show you a product detail page. And I wanted you to take a minute and identify some errors on this product detail page. So what could Kitchen Smart do better? And I'll give you about 30 seconds to think through it, and then we can go over it. All right, so you should have been able to spot the issues with this page. And let's review now what the problems are. So this product has low stock, and it has a rating of just 2.5 stars with only three customer reviews. The product title is also quite wordy, and it doesn't really describe the product in a clear and engaging way. And there is also only one bullet point, which isn't especially detailed, and it doesn't include a product description. So this page really feels incomplete, and it's not something that you would necessarily help shoppers make an informed purchase. 
So from an advertising perspective, would you rather invest in driving traffic to this page or to this page? So as we can see, this page has a much more concise title, has more than 3.5 customer, uh, 3.5 stars and more than five customer reviews and includes a good product description and um, some informative bullet points. So now we'll begin to wrap up by looking at the next, next steps that you can take, depending on where you are on your advertising journey. So if you're not advertising yet, get started. Uh, join our introduction to sponsored ads webinar for a more detailed education on the basics and a live demo on creating your first spot, sponsored products campaign. Register on Amazon brand registry and run an audit on your product detail pages and make sure that you implement all the recommendations that we talked about here today. And then I would make sure that you register in the advertising console and create your first campaign. All right, thank you so much, Bruna. Now I'm going to take over. Hi, everyone. Uh, one more time for those who was not here at the beginning. My name is Winnie. I am a advertising specialist with Amazon ads. Bruna, thank you so much for the presentation. Uh, now I'm going to go over the most frequently asked questions that we received today. So just give me a time to take a look at it. So we still have 10 minutes for that. And one of the questions that we received the most here uh, from several advertisers is, um, what is a great way to get started? That's a great question. So our first recommendation is for you to start with sponsored products using automatic targeting. Remember, with automatic targeting, you don't have to add the keywords. Amazon will direct your product every time a shopper is looking uh, for something that's related to your, that is something uh, that's related to your product. So, uh, also remember that with automatic targeting, it's a great way for you to learn how shoppers discover your product. And then we got another great question here from uh, several advertisers asking, where can I see the search terms? So that's a great question. And actually I'm gonna share uh, my screen with you all. So you can see how you can uh, look for the search terms and how you can download the search term report. All right, so hopefully everyone can see uh, my screen here. So here is my test account. And I'm gonna uh, show you how you can find your search term and also keep in mind the difference between search term and keyword. So search term, it's uh, the words that the shoppers put on the shopping uh, in the search bar when they're looking for a specific product on Amazon, what, right? And the keywords are the ones that you add in your campaign and then you're going to do that manually. So you're going to go there to your sponsored product campaign if you're running a manual uh, targeting using keyword targeting, you're going to go there and manually select those keywords that you want to direct to your product. So uh, that's the difference between the search term and the keywords and how you can look at those search terms that are performing well in your campaign. So you're going to go to a specific campaign. So I'm going to click on a campaign here. Once you click here, And then once you click here, you're gonna be able to uh, click in your ad groups. Just let me refresh the page one more time so you'll be able to see how you can find the search terms. Oh, let's go back one more time. Sorry about that. But just to summarize here, once you click in your campaign, 
you're going to be directed to that campaign and then you're going to click in your ad group and then once you're in your ad group you're going to have in the left side the search term tab once you click on the search term tab you'll be able to see all the search terms where an impression if you get uh, uh sales if you get like a, a order from that and also you'll be able to see your a costs and uh, remember that the A cost is advertised cost of sales, and it's a great metric for you to see the performance of your campaign. Remember that uh, everyone has different goals when uh, they create a campaign, but if your goal is to increase sales, our recommendation is for you to aim for 20% below on your A cost. So I don't have any metrics available here, but I just want to show you where you can find the search terms. You can also customize your column here, adding the metrics that you would like to see all the insights that you're getting. And then once you're here, uh, you can also go to your measurement and reporting. And you go to your reports. And then once you go to your reports, you're going to select the category of those reports, and then you can select the search term report. So you go create a report. And then here you select the report type. And then you can choose between a time unit or a, it can be a summary or a daily. The report period, you can give a name to your report. You can schedule the time right now. If you decided to do that, you can just run the report. Remember to add the email here. You can enter more than one email. You can schedule for future by just adding a date, or you can also do a recurring. And then the frequency, our recommendation is to do monthly. Uh, you can create a date right here, you schedule that report, and then you can start to receive the report every month in your uh, email. All right, so let's go to the other uh, questions here. So we have some advertisers here asking how they can uh, get support, getting help, getting like a one-on-one -on -one help from someone where they're finding some uh, challenges with their campaign manager where they uh, need uh, someone to directly talk to them and answer their questions. Um, so what, once you're in your campaign manager in your account, you can come here and click in Support Center. Once you click in your Support Center, you're gonna be directed to this page. I already opened because a lot of advertisers was asking that. And then you're gonna select something. Let's say you wanna know a little bit more about sponsored products. And then you click here on a specific topic. You also have the webinars that you can directly uh, enroll from here. And then if you still have questions, if any of those videos here kind of answer your question, you can come here, still you need help, contact us. Click here. And then once you're here, uh, you can select how can we help. You can select here a specific category that you would like, so sponsor product, let's say, and then you have like specific some topic in specific here that you'd like to get help, let's say adding a campaign. And then you, once you select here, you can get the help by email where you can uh, describe what is your need, what are uh, the questions that you want them to answer for you, or you can uh, select a phone call where a support specialist is gonna call you. All right, so let's go to the other questions that we are getting here today. Um, so we got a lot of questions about brand registry, and that's a great question. Remember, in order for you to use the sponsor brands, sponsor display stores, and all the other nice uh, features available uh, with uh, brand, you need to register your brand and brand registry. Um, what you can do here and what I'm going to do actually is to share with you how you can get all the information, all the docu documentation that you need to provide and how you can get started with this process. So first you want to go to the brand service point, uh, dot Amazon dot com. Once you're here, you can go and get it started with brand registry. And then once you're here, 
you'll be able to find all the information, all the benefits that you're gonna get if you enroll your brand at Brand Registry, and then you can click here and get started. I'm also gonna share the link on our chat, just a second. So once you're here, you're gonna be able to review the eligibility requirements. You can also select the uh, marketplace uh, that you would like to register your brand. And then you can also come here and review the country specific requirements here, just by selecting the country. And then you can come here and learn how you can sign into Amazon Brand Registry and how you can enroll your brand and then just click Enroll Now. I'm gonna share that with you uh, in our chat. So you can get a look on that once we finish the presentation. All right, so we got a, another great question here. Um, let me just make sure I understand that right. All right, so a great question. Also for manual campaign, can different products be added to different ad groups in a manual campaign? Yes, absolutely. Once you create your campaign, you'll be able to create a lot, you're gonna be able to create other uh, ad groups. Once you are in the campaign creation, you can only add one ad group, but once you launch that campaign, and the campaign it's available uh, in your campaign manager, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go back to here to my campaign manager. And then once I'm here, I'll, let's say I sell uh, a makeup products, Right, so I have uh, lipsticks and then I have brushes and then I have some eye lines and I wanna create uh, all, I wanna add all these products to the same campaign, but I wanna keep the same category of these products in a different ad group and that actually is our recommendation. So once you create your campaign and you go to your ad groups, make sure that the products that you are adding in that ad group it's the same category, has the same uh, price as well. So they are uh, similar in, on that. So then you click uh, in your campaign here. And then once you're here, you'll be able to uh, click in this tab, create an ad group. And then once you do that, you're gonna be directed to a page where you're gonna add the essence that you'd like to add in that campaign. And then uh, it's simple as it is. Uh, let's see the other questions here. There we got it today. And then that's gonna be the last question. So how can I get at the best keyword or search term, terms that is mostly used by customers? That's a great question. Uh, just by going to your uh, campaign manager, you'll be able to see all the search terms uh, that you are getting an impression. You're gonna be able to see if you get clicks on the search terms and also your ACoS and your ROAS. Based on that information, you'll be able to optimize your campaign and add those search terms as a keyword in your uh, sponsor product manual campaign using the keyword targeting. So uh, just going back to the beginning uh, of this uh, Q&A today, uh, a way to learn which ones is gonna be the best for your campaign is to start with automatic targeting, let the campaign run for two weeks. After those two weeks, we'll be able to get some valuable insights and see how shoppers just go over your product. And then based on that information, you can optimize and create another campaign with sponsor product using uh, the manual targeting. And then if manual targeting, remember you have two options of targeting, you have keyword and then you have a product. With product target, it's also a great strategy because you can select, you can add the ASINs and you can also uh, select by categories and then by brand as well. So keep always in mind the types of like goals that you're trying to achieve with each of those campaigns, all right? So I believe I answered most of the questions. I wanna thank you all so much for being here today. 
Hope to see you in our next webinar. So please don't forget to answer our survey and let us know all you think about our presentation today. Uh, it's always great to have you here. Uh, hope you are able to learn today how to have a strong uh, product detail page. And then uh, you hopefully again that you can use all the recommendations that we uh, provide you here today and how to make the product detail page strong. All right, so have a great day and um, looking for you, looking forward to see you here in our next webinars. Bye bye everyone and thank you so much for stay here with me until the end.